Last year, we decided to finally chase our dreams of living life on the water. I went to the Cannes Yachting Festival and we ended up buying our very first yacht. Six months on, our boat's now left the factory and we're expecting to take delivery in the next couple of weeks. But over the last couple of months, we've had a pretty big problem. A 20,000 euro issue that threatened to jeopardize our whole dream of living a life on board. In this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into one of the biggest problems that you'll face if you're planning to live off grid on a sailing yacht and what we've done to overcome this. So let's jump in. So we want to live on our yacht full time. We're gonna set sail in France, we're gonna sail all the way through to Italy and we're gonna live and work on our boat. We want to live a truly nomadic lifestyle, adventuring wherever we want to go. And that leads us to our first problem. How do we power that lifestyle? How do we power the lifestyle where we can go anywhere and do anything without being reliant on marinas? Yeah, so if we're planning to live most of the time at anchor, we need a source of power that means we're not plugging into the shore. So we've come across two main options for us. The first being a generator, which we need quite a lot of fuel. Um, it's dirty, it's noisy, and it doesn't feel like the best option no, for us. No, it doesn't. Fingers crossed we're in the Mediterranean and hopefully that means we get a lot of sunshine. So option number two would be a solar power system, which for us makes complete sense. It, we have quite a lot of sunshine, it's self-sufficient once it's installed and it's much better for the environment. So that's the route we're going to explore. Yeah, I think solar makes the most sense, but our biggest problem is we don't know anything about solar panels. We don't know anything about marine electronics. I think our experience of electronics is replacing a light bulb or a light fixture in our apartment. So it's a really steep learning curve for us. We're asking and speaking to as many professionals or as many yacht owners as we can, but we're not quite sure what the next steps are. So I think we need to go and speak to a company who can install it, who can advise on what hardware we need, what solar panels, what battery setup we need on our boat. Should we go speak to some, some professionals? Let's get some help. I spent the next 24 hours reaching out to various marine specialists who can design, build and install a full solar power setup on our boat. I found three companies in France who said they could source and fit everything for us and would send me a full quote. I've got a quote in from one of the marine specialists that can fit it for us, do everything. This is, this is providing all the materials and installation. Guess how much it's going to cost us? I really hope, I, I would think it's going to be about six, six to eight thousand euros. Keep going. 10? Double it. 20,000 euros. 20,000 euros. So battery systems, including, this is including installation, but still battery system, 6,000 pounds. Inverters, 5,000 pounds. And the rest is made up of the solar and the rig. That's crazy. Yeah. We, we can't afford that. Not an option. There's 20,000 euros for the setup for solar. Yeah. That's a lot of electricity we have to use to justify that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what would you do? Back what's, to the drawing the board. Back to the drawing board. We need a plan B. So our plan B was to do it ourselves. So I spent the next few days reading and learning as much as I could. I found a great book called Off Grid Solar Power, which gave me a breakdown of everything we would need to do. I started researching about all the hardware we would need from solar panels to AGM batteries. I calculated our daily power usage and with a bit of help from some marine experts, I started to understand what a great solar setup would be based on our individual requirements. I think I've landed on a solution. I had the option of going down a 12 volt system and keeping things really simple because that's what the boat runs on or let's take on a challenge and make things complicated because you know I always like to make my life more complicated than it needs to be um, and make things on a 24 four volt system. Um, the benefit of doing that is it's more efficient and we can reduce cost um, in some areas. So that's the route I think we're gonna go down. So the final setup, and I've done a very basic drawing, um, but the final setup will be three 440 watt bifacial solar panels, which are pretty big. They'll go on the back of the yacht. Um, and then all I need to put in is a charge controller that will take the capacity of that, an inverter, two additional batteries, and some chargers that will ru run from my engines so that the engines, when they're running, will charge the system as well. 
Okay, so I'm coming today from Edinburgh, or just north of Edinburgh. Um, it is very sunny, but still very chilly because it is March. Um, but Edinburgh is just somewhere across the water over there. I don't know if you can see Arthur's seat just about. Um, but I came for a visit to come and see Vision Marine, who have been incredible. Um, I started with my, a very amateur drawing, um, which was um, very basic to say the least. Um, they've given me so much information. They've gone through everything. They went through the wiring sizes, the fuse sizes, what I need, different options of inverters. Absolutely incredible. I thought I was gonna be there for 10 minutes and I was there for about an hour and a half, the poor guy, but he was incredible. Um, he's given me so much confidence. He said, you know, he, he has full confidence that I can fit the solos like, with the right diagrams and the right kit and the full kit. Um, as long as I'm doing things safely, I've absolutely got this. So I'm feeling super, super happy. Um, so grateful. If you're in the Edinburgh area and you need some information on um, solar, um, just go and visit Vision Marine because they are incredible. They're not sponsoring us at all, but I'm just super, super happy. So um, the next step is going to be order the kit and then we're going to be heading out in just about two weeks. Um, to go and fit it. So hopefully this all goes well, but follow us and see. Okay, so the final piece of the puzzle is the solar frame. So we're gonna have a metal frame on the back of the boat that our three solar panels will fit to. Now, every quote that we had was incredibly expensive because these are bespoke frames that take a lot of time to design and manufacture. But I have an older brother who is also a CAD engineer and I asked him for a favour and he's designed and manufactured a frame that we can take out to France with us. Check out what he's done. This is so awesome. He's built our whole boat in CAD with the frame on the back. And it's literally saving us thousands. All that we have to do is pay for the cost of materials and build it when we get there. If you want to see it all come together, please like and subscribe. And if you want, leave me a comment, wish me luck or give me any advice. See you next time.